dear students now today i am going to start general knowledge for class 8 this is the third part of the video in this part of the video we will learn about the interesting things interesting facts related with the life in desert right life in desert in this chapter we will learn the peoples and the plants who lives in the desert so let's start in this one we will identify these desert plants and animals which have adopted themselves to desert conditions right so here is the first one and this is the cactus all cacti are succulents succulent means the water have stored in their leaves or roots or stems this cactus is one such succulent that stores water they store large amount of water on a storing water it weight increases so much that a large specimen can weigh up to several hundred pounds means that much of water they will store to their weight can be increase up to several hundred pounds you know the do you know them the answer is barrel cactus right now the next one is another cactus this cactus gets its name from their wisp of whitish hair along its stem which provides shade and prevent water loss wisp means bundles bundles of whitish hair along its stem on the stem the bundles of whitish hair like structure will be there which can provide them shade and prevent from water loss they can save their water by this wisp of whitish hair what is the answer the answer is old man cactus due to their whitish wisp hair they are called old man cactus now the next is the third one is see the picture since this cactus like many desert many desert plant stores water in its spongy tissues that tissues that is the leaf tissues spongy they are spongy but spikes are there on the leaves animals like to eat it for the moisture these thorn keep these plants safe from many animals predator thorn that is a spike will be there on the leaves can prevent them from many animal predator right so they cannot harm them but animals are eat them by removing that thorns what is the answer this is the common cactus <coughs> the answer is prickly pear cactus right next one is that is the animal belongs to desert area this animal have widely spread hooves hooves means foot it is a part of foot hooves and feet adapted to walking on soft sand that foot 
feet have been adopted to they can walk on soft sand they have built up like that it is also equipped with the highly reflective coat and an ability to extract all the water it needs from plants they are equipped himself to they can get the water from the plants maximum water from the plants and stored them do you know the answer the answer is adex okay now the next one is the another plant that is belongs to the cactus the hook shaped spines of this cactus help desert heat and provide shade to the growing tip of the plant they can provide shades provide them the tip to the plant so they can grow up and it is a hook shaped their spines are in hook shaped that one can also protect them from the predator animals guess what is the answer the answer is fish hook cactus fish hook cactus this is the name of the cactus next one is another desert animal that is fat sand rat rat sorry fat sand rat this des desert rat has remarkably efficient kidneys very good kind of kidneys they have it obtains water from the leaves of the salt bush salt bush means the plant which have fleshy leaves with salty water okay when food is abundant it accumulates a layer of fats in its body and obtained energy from this fat when food is scarce means they can eat that salt bush store the energy in their body and their body will be swell and they can burn their fats to get the energy when the foods were scarce right this is the fat sand rat next one is the amazing facts interesting facts interesting facts about the desert right this is an ancient rock painting in the sahara desert which can shows many ancient rock paintings in africa and asian desert shows giraffes antelopes and other grazing animals that could not have survived in the present desert conditions this suggests that those areas were once fertile evidence of ancient lakes and forests can also be found in the world's desert means this this type of these type of ancient painting are showing that where the deserts are there right sometimes on that places there is a water plants everything's are there where giraffes antelopes and grazing animals are lived on that time they are survive on that time but nowadays they cannot survive in the desert due to that one is the lost from that area antelopes are refers to many species of even to ruminant indigenous to various regions in africa and eurasia on that time the species whose toads are ruminant khur that is called khur 
and that is that was present in Africa and Eurasia. And grazing animals are normally called animal husbandry. That is domestic animals. Okay. That's it for today's part. This is the third part of GK. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.